Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate it, B. Oh, no. What's up, Daniel? Hi, how are you? Good, man. That Good was a serious night, remember? They got a sniper in there right now! Yeah. You and I were like, that's serious shit. But you well, you went up there and you tried to, talk, you tried to interview them. The guy, yeah, I talked to him. I even brought him some food and stuff. Thank you. I appreciate that. You didn't sound, you weren't too happy about after they, uh, they, they, they talked to you. Well, they wouldn't talk to him. Wouldn't talk to him, yeah. You, you talking about the guys with the guns over there? Yeah, the ones with the assault rifles, the Yeah, they, 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 and... they talked, they talked, they talked. Oh, they did? Yeah. Oh, you told us that, you know, they, they threatened you when you were over there, so I was just... No, no, they, no, they, they were actually really nice. All units move back. There's one subject near the tree on the south oh. side. He's hunting down. I think it's pointing at AK-47 on the east side of the street, and they feel that they might ambush officers. They also have on bulletproof vests. The gunman came and leaned on the mailbox on the opposite side of me. It would have been difficult for me under those circumstances to not talk to him. I wonder if this guy's like a, um, a war veteran or something, you think? Yeah. 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 No service no, call back, no, 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 no call back, yeah. it's possible. But he said that he's willing to die for his people. But I'm not out here causing no problems. I'm just out here trying to expose what they out here doing. And that's playing games with these people. Where they at? They're right here by us, man. They're, they're going to try to shoot you. You know that they're... For what? Because they probably... For what? You know police are only concerned with their lives and not yours or mine. For what? My hands are right here. They over here living like animals while other people of privilege get to enjoy splendor. Listen, I, I know you got a statement to make of getting yourself... If they kill you, that's not going to help. Of course it is. Because other people are going to now see this and they're going to be turned up by this. What about your family? They brought all of us over here, mumbled and jumbled up our names. We don't even know what our names is. My last name is Lindsay. That's not my name. That's not my real name that my forefathers came over here with. Called us something else because we were their property. You were scared. <laughs> I was scared. I, I was been... scared too, but you were scared. I think the police got a little bit of criticism because they hid with their armored vehicles about a half a mile away. Right now, we're educating our people that we no longer need law enforcement anymore because they are failing us. I got an odd question for you, Ms. Summit. Hi, how are you? Good. What's up? Let me know when you're done. Then, so we get, I just you, want to talk to you off. You want me to turn the camera off? Yeah. Uh, no, there's nothing, nothing weird. Uh -huh. Is it going to be about a drone? No, no, no. It's going to be about that incident okay. from uh, a couple weeks ago about Crash Shop. Okay, okay. Um, okay, what's up? What did you get? Are you talking about the guys with the, the yeah, guns yeah, over yeah, here? Yeah, with the rifles. You know, actually, I recorded a lot of it. But it took so long that my camera um, it filled up. At one point in time, were people starting to circle them, like kind of yeah. like uh, shield them, right? As people realized that it was safe to be there, then more and more people came and just were talking to them. Okay. I'm gonna call the police to tell them that you said it's peaceful protest. Yeah, do that. That's that's my impression. I don't think they were trying to protect them necessarily. I was tricked. I didn't know no better. 19 years old. You know, because I believe that 9/11 happened. Who was it? I believe that they came over here trying to mess with our people. Sure. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh, why didn't they do that two, three hours ago? I don't know. I'm not a police officer. I can't tell you. But, but don't you think that they should have been here by now? First of all, you know, they, yeah, they, they don't want to get hurt. And so they're, and they're, yeah, they're nobody's going to get hurt. Yeah, I know. Because we're not out here doing nothing. If somebody would have got hurt, they would have been hurt already. And we let them know that. I, I can't explain. I can't explain for them. Right. Exactly. You know, because I, I, any other means would be bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Um, all I know is, is thank you, you for know, this water again, by the way. You're welcome. You both are not right. Honorable man choose for nine if two. Discriminated against the very unit that we have brought honor to. I love my daughter. My beautiful child mother lied on my honor. Abused me. Confessed to it. I tried to get her help through therapy. She hit me in front of my comrade and his witnesses to this. It's an 11 minute video of this and I submitted it to the government, to the state, questioning my sanity. I'm a summa cum laude student at Los Angeles Film School that somehow has a problem with a summa cum laude student, 99.89 GPA per student performing a politically socially conscious song, yet it has no problem allowing some of my brothers to disrespect black women gang bang on that stage. What does that mean, what you're saying, summa cum laude? Summa cum laude, a high, with high distinction, I graduated from the audio engineering program at Los Angeles Film School. Okay. They, sing, they have a problem with performing the song that I'm about to release called African Niggas. It's a war chant. Yet they allow some of my fellow brothers to perform lascivious, libidinous songs, purient songs about taking advantage of women, taking drugs and all that. What does that say about that school? Best student is not allowed to perform truth. 
But, but it's acceptable to perform any type of law. Education is very political. I didn't do anything illegal. Pardon. These are our legal guns. We bought them legally. All right, so basically it's like open carry, right? Is that what you're saying? Open carry? The right to bear arms. Yeah. We're well, allowed there's... to carry our own legal weapons yeah. to police our own people. We're not allowed to police our own people, but people who are foreign to this little group here are allowed to police us. That's why there's so much police shootings. These police officers don't have a clue about the people here. We're going to make these little gangsters new police officers and have the community's pain for them to survive. Now they got jobs for them. We love poor white folks too. They're doing the same shit to you. That the what they're doing right now to the black man is the model they use against poor white folks. What's up to you Irish Africans and the Irish Italians? I know your pain. Y'all know. Y'all some niggas too. Come on. Y'all some light skinned niggas. So what, what is um, what is your plan from here? To tell the truth. Yep. Yeah, about that. What I mean is that the police are gonna at whatever point whether they, whether they come here. My brother, you're worried. Well, I want to just tell you whatever happens, man. I wish you the best of luck. My, I want to huh? say thank you for having the honor and the courage to come to it. I know from the outside it looks like we're crazy. I don't know what happened. The two of these guys started out working as a team. I'm not exactly sure what their plan was. Your partner is right back over here. Your partner is right over here. He's right. There's a there's a group of people, and he's he's standing over here by the houses. And if you go on the street and go up that, that way, you'll see your friend. So y'all can't have no safe places to go and play football, play basketball. Y'all children go and fucking do their thing without having to worry about somebody going to shoot them in their head. Because these niggas don't know how to shoot. That's my design. That's my design because they want to keep you dumb. Oh, you can't get no weapons. You can't do this. Why the fuck not? If I don't got no felonies, you can if you don't got no feelings, you can do whatever the f your ass want to. Because some of these other, no offense, some of these other Caucasian Americans are f doing this shit. They loading up on military grade shit and they gonna try to tell you that you can't do the fucking same. I seen the motherfuckers, they do it all the time. Oh, I'm going hunting. Got my 38 out, six. Got like 762. Go out there and shoot some. Dear America is laughing at people of color right now. Oh, you guys are so ignorant. You guys are so ignorant. You guys are going to school. What are you guys doing in our education system other than brainwashing our people with propaganda? You guys aren't telling anybody anything of any type of substance or importance or to uplift them. You're telling them things that keep them degraded. That's what America says. And we're tired of this. I think it'll be smart if y'all do leave the weapons out the car when y'all leave as a protest. These are our weapons. I'm saying, on your safety. You're not allowed to exercise your constitutional rights. When, when they have us thinking that way, that's how they're allowed to continue to do what they do to us every day. They agreed to drive slowly to the freeway so I could follow them on my bicycle and make sure that they got there without being killed or attacked. They followed them to a, an apartment in the valley. They observed them removing the weapons and ammunition from the vehicle. And then they followed them out onto the public streets where they initiated a, a traffic stop despite the fact that they didn't commit a traffic violation. They proceeded to make them undress in the street and despite their cooperation, the LAPD shot the straight-A student in the eyeball with a rubber bullet. And then they proceeded to fabricate bogus charges against them. And like every other black man in a poor neighborhood, these guys have to plead guilty to get out of jail. Here's the kicker here. They're not from poor neighborhoods. They left their wealthy neighborhood in Sino. I think that's actually a very white neighborhood, a wealthy neighborhood. They might have expected to get killed, but instead they just got framed. And the mainstream media, of course, they're just trying to get a soundbite. And many of them published the lies that they were um, trying to ambush the police. They were prepared to sacrifice their lives for the community of Inglewood, who probably wouldn't do a thing to help them. I'm over here just trying to educate my people about what they can do within their own neighborhoods, because they're already doing it, except they're just doing it against one another instead of the police who are killing them and getting away with it. That's all listen, I'm saying. Listen, can I, ask, can I, I have every right to be just like this right now. You do, I'm not violating no type of law under the federal government. I, I'm not trying to take that right away from you. Oh, uh, oh, look. In which, I, in which I actually fought for, by the way. So they can't come once they try to kill me and be like, oh, well, he's a criminal. 
They got this background history and all this rhetoric. They can't do none of that because I'm an honorable infantryman who fought for this country twice, by the way, just so people can play with our lives like it's a game. So, yeah. But yeah, I remember you. That that was one of the last nights I talked to you. No, I don't recognize you, man. Uh, it's been but, 20 years on, man. Yeah. <laughs> all right, well, Abika, it's nice talking to you and you too. Officer Kearney. Kearney. You guys have a good night. All right, man. Hey, good luck to you. All right, all right. Lying on me with the trippers forever. Went straight to the back when I walk out of the chair. Yeah. Thank you.